Update on the Sterling engine. Part 50 something. The last video I... I don't know what I did in the last video, but the plan in this video is to make this engine running, at least with the electric motor. Therefore, I will try to put on the chain again. Yeah. So I probably have to... We probably need the chain tensioner. Maybe I can put it on one some somewhere here. Maybe with the, something like this. I will just lose the cold side. Oh no, even better. We can maybe lose this... This uh, screw I put in. I put it in for compression testing. Yeah. Okay, this looks like the flywheel is wobbling a little bit. The crank is a little bit not aligned. In Germany we say it's running like an egg, a little less than on this side, so... Yeah, that was it. Correct the, the angle of this motor. No, no, looks good. Okay, it's still too wobbly. Try this one. Great. Like this. Okay, I have to mark the position. Boom, that's tight. Maybe. A little more two ten millimeter screws. Oh, wrong side. Misaligned. Yeah. Not so bad. Let's check. Let's try to make it run with the battery. Okay, looks like working. Oh, this has a big imbalance. Looks like it's coming from the crankshaft. So good. Okay, let's see how much the imbalance of the flywheel is.
So it's moving in both directions, uh, horizontal and also, what's it called? Uh, axial, ax on the axis and also, uh, anyway, it's wobbling. So let's see if I can correct it a little bit with the force. I think just the screws are loose. I can move it here. You see the you see the counter counter bearing. If I move the flywheel, maybe maybe I can just fix the screws and then the problem is gone. Nah, it's still wobbly. Maybe now I can bend it. Bend it. Not so bad. Just two millimeter now. Now it's coming, going away. Much better. That's still crazy, but I think it's better. Okay, my plan was now, my plan was now to measure the power it needs. Somehow, measure the power it needs right now, then heat this thing up and the power it needs should go down. So the electric power, because it's getting energy from the, from the heat transfer. So that was the plan. Not sure if that's uh, working. I can put this back in. That's no good. When the compression gets higher, the force on the chain is so big that the, it starts wobbling like crazy. That is probably because the crankshaft was extended so long here. So the extension here, so the, the lever from this chain is so huge. Design flaw. Shit. The, the chain wheel, this one, should be here actually. But there is no way to fix it easy. Nah. Shit, I have to think about. Also, I want to put on the cooling fins here, or the cylinder head the cooling. Even though I think this, this, the effect on the performance of the engine is quite low, but it looks cool. So I 
will put it back on. Therefore, I have to uh, make a hole here or like a, yeah, like a notch for this uh, for the screw here. I put it in for the compression test. I think it's exactly on this under this here. Let's check. Yes, so I drilled this hole through here. So I just have to make this one bigger. Let's check if I can find the drill upstairs. Them. Yeah, that, that's the reason I stopped with the stairs here. I was working on the stairs. These stairs here, it's a, like a provisorium. Uh, I, I wanted to check the length of the steps or the stair and the height of each step and the overlap and like the angle and stuff. I can move all the stairs to check, um, but to comfortably, comfortably go down the stairs, you need a low angle. And all, I'm always, uh, yeah, I'm always struggling here. So probably I have to take out this section here just for the stairs. And that's why I was a little bit fed up. So I made a break and uh, wanted to work on the motor. So let's continue. 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter is enough for the... Position is good, I think. Looks like the middle, but the bigger edge is missing here. That's shit, of course. Nah, this is like huge. This is huge. the compression here Everything moving, running like an Easter egg. Not so great. I just had a good idea how to fix the wobbling problem. So this flywheel, I will connect again. This flywheel is wobbling all directions. So if I would attach a steel roller or a steel bearing here and maybe one here, forcing it to run center, there was no chance to wobble. This would be the fastest and cheapest solution without changing the crankshaft or switching the sprocket to the center. Yeah. Ah yeah, this is the this is the free wheel for anyone wondering how it's working. So in one way it's uh, stiff, so it's mm, transmitting the power, and in the other way it's just uh, click click click. I don't know the English word. So one way 
all the thing is moving and when whenever the motor should feel should feel itself that it wants to it wants to run by itself then the free wheel kicks in and uh, it should uh, spin easily without the motor running or stopping braking yeah that's the plan but first i have to fix some bigger problems so the yeah, if I put a if I put a bearing here, and the bearing will run on the surface of this flywheel. So like this. Forcing it. Forcing it to run center. Maybe so if any one of you knows how to calculate the power needed. Uh, or the electric power which is necessary to make it run let me know in the comments then i can see how much power is missing when this thing is heated up it should run with less electric power so then i can see actually how much is missing to make it run i think yeah then i can see how much uh, heat is the heat is how big the influence of the heat is so that's the plan so i have to make i have to measure the voltage that's easy and i think uh, the amperage so because the power is equals uh, amps times volt but i'm not sure how to measure the the amps with a normal multimeter i'm not an electrician so if you know let me know in the comments maybe it's worth a try yeah and if you don't like my video that's okay just make a better one or switch off <laughs>